Hey guys and welcome back to the vlog. Um, today is actually my last day riding Dali before he goes on a break for a month. So I thought I'd give him a jump and also maybe tackle some fillers. So Dali has only been jumped um, twice so far. So this will be his third time jumping under saddle. Um, he was very, very confident last time. I'll insert a clip because I didn't actually vlog it. Um, so today I thought we'd maybe do uh, more than one fence and a little kind of mini course and also throw in a few fillers. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you guys how I would approach introducing a horse to fillers. Um, this is for horses that haven't jumped before, but it would also be beneficial for horses who might be quite spooky and then just need their confidence being built back up. So first of all, I need to go and get some jumps set up. Okay, so we have a little course set up. So that cross pull over there is the first fence. Then we come around and jump this fence in the diagonal and then come down a little related distance here. So it's very, very simple. Um, the first fence isn't going to have a filler just to get him into it. Then for this fence, I have the fillers to each side and I'll slowly move them in as he gets more and more comfortable. And the key is to have the fence really small so that even if he does um, like slow down and try and stop, he can even walk over that. So he's always going to go over it no matter what. So it's always a good experience. And it's also not too big that he'll bang his leg. Um, like I don't want him to kind of bunny hop it and then maybe land on the back bar if I had a big ox or something. I want him to get over it nice and easily so he realizes that just because it's scary doesn't mean it's hard. And then we come around and then we have this vertical which I might actually make into an oxer and then down to the water tray. So I don't have a pull over the water tray yet. Um, I just have on the ground first. So I'll just canter, uh, walk trot and canter him over it first. And then I will put a little pole above it because a lot of horses don't mind jumping over them. But if you actually ask them to walk into it, they're quite scared of it. So it's nice to just start from the very basics and um, get him used to walking in it. So then he definitely knows that it's nothing to be afraid of. So that is the plan for today. Hopefully it all goes well. And now I'm gonna go and get him. Dali's excited to come in and do some jumping. It's really mucky around here this time of year, but they get hay as well as grass. So they're keeping their condition well. Come on. And Kyle comes in as well because he doesn't like being left on his own in the field. <laughs> Hello. Is it all mucky? Good boy. So Dali is all tacked up and ready to go. Good boy. He's gotten very good at standing for photos. Haven't you, Dali? My best boy. Hey guys, so I thought I'd start the voiceover um, here. Um, I've already warmed up at this stage. I gave him a walk, trot, canter around, and now I'm just gonna walk him over this water tray. He has actually gone over this water tray numerous times, like in the groundwork, and I also rode it over him once, but it was quite a few weeks ago, and I think he's kind of forgotten. So that's why we've got a little bit of a reaction there, but I just kept a little bit of pressure on and tried to keep him moving forwards, and I made sure it's really important not to pull um, the reins as he goes over it because that would be then be a bad um, experience associated with the water tray so I want it to be nice and relaxed um, so I come around again just in the walk nice and relaxed um, I'm just encouraging him forward gently and he does just walk over it a lot better a uh, little hesitation so I just walk over it one more time um, and then he's very relaxed about it so I'm happy that he is um, used to it I then come around in the trot, um, again just kind of trotting all over it, nice and relaxed and no real pressure on him, so he gets nice and um, good experience with it. He gives a little pop over it, which I don't mind at all. And then I come around, change the rein and come over on the opposite direction as well.
So now I start jumping the jumps. I did warm up over the cross pull twice, but I didn't get it on video, but here's over a small uh, vertical. And I come around to the um, the jump with the fillers, and you'll see that he, I go back to trot just to give myself some time, give him time to think about it as he approaches it, so I'm not like chasing him at it. He does have a big spook at it, he's not really sure, but as I said, I kept it really low so he was able to just go over it from almost a standstill. Um, again, I, I put my hands really far up his neck, I made sure not to pull him on the mouth so that it wasn't a bad experience for him. So this is our second time coming around, and you'll see that he's a lot more confident already. So confidence is just built by putting them in a situation that they're a little bit worried about and then having a good outcome. So then they learn that if they're worried about something um, and I ask them to do it, it generally works out well for them. So they start trusting what you're asking them to do and they kind of start to realize that you're not gonna make, ask them to do anything that they're not able to. So now I come around to do the course. This is our first attempt at the course. Um, he jumps the first fence really nicely. He's just a very small little boxer. Um, he kind of canters on a bit strongly there, so I just ask him to come back to me, um, and I come around to the filler and the canter. He's really here, good here. He does a little, I just feel him back off a little bit, but I just put on a bit of leg and he jumps it no problem. He does this fine change over it, which is very nice. Um, he's just very balanced, which is very nice to ride. So this is his first time doing a distance and I think he loses the concentration because he sees the second part and goes, what the heck is that? And kind of forgets about the first part. So he had that down, but it's no problem. I just um, kept him straight and kept him going towards the second part. And he was very good to jump it, um, even though he got a little bit of a fright at knocking the pole. So now we come around to do the course a second time. This time is almost foot perfect. He was really, really rideable, uh, really rhythmical. Um, all the strides come up really nice. Um, and yeah, he's just very, very easy to ride. <laughs> For his only his third time jumping, I'm really, really pleased with how, um, how just easy he is really. So again, we come to the filler fence. He does his flying change over the jump. Um, it goes right out into his corners. It's so important to ride really straight um, towards and away from the fence from the very start so they get into a habit of um, approaching it correctly. Here he does a nice little jump because he doesn't want to knock it again. And then he comes down and pops over the water drain no problem at all. So I was really, really happy with that. I decided to just jump one more jump. Um, I just moved in the fillers more towards the centre of the fence across the diagonal just to show how I would slowly bring them to the middle um, as they get more and more confident. As he comes to this he does have a little look at it but I just put, keep my leg on and he jumps it no problem at all. So it was really nice to go from him not wanting to jump it at all to him being quite confident. Hey guys, so um, I've untacked Dali. Oh, he just... He loves, he loves a bit of a hat. Um, I've untacked Ali and do stretches and now I'm gonna put them out. So this is the last time I'm gonna be riding Dali for at least a month. Um, for the next four weeks, I am on quite a hard rotation so I won't have time to come over the weekends. Like I'm on call during the weekend and stuff. So I won't be able to come home at all really. So they're just gonna go on a break and then in four weeks time, I start a bit of an easier uh, rotation where I can probably try and get home during the week and stuff. So I'm going to start riding this guy here, Cal. Um, so I'm gonna bring him back into work, maybe clip him, get him looking all nice. Um, around that time, I might try and bring Daddy into semi-work because like the last two weeks, I've only ridden him on the weekends. So I just rode him uh, Saturday and Sunday. And he's been quite good. Like he doesn't really get that fresh. He gets a little bit fresh, but it's very, very manageable. So I feel like I could maybe try and keep riding him, but I'll just play it by ear and see how it goes. Um, nothing is for certain yet. <laughs> They're delighted to get a bit of grazing. Um, so yeah, that is a plan with the horses. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, maybe learned some tips for getting your own horses over fillers and young horses and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I was delighted with how Dali was. Um, he really exceeded expectations. I know he's not like super extravagant or flashy over the jumps, but at this moment in time, all I want is for him to be balanced, listening to me and then just 
being like respectful of the jumps really and he was he was really balanced um his turning's perfect um he listens to me when i try and get him to slow down before the jump um and then he was also changing his lead onto the correct lead over the fence in the middle of the arena so it was all really really good and i'm absolutely delighted with him i'm very excited for the summer of going to shows with him because I'm excited. It could be fun. Um, so yeah, make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you want to keep watching videos with these guys. And I will see you in my next video. Oh, you're so gross and wet. Bye guys.